See you over there, Pac. It was great catching up. Red, Trey, congrats on the Hall of Fame. Thanks. I told you we shouldn't have stopped to talk to X-Pac. That took forever. It's gonna be fine. And besides, we got a great diet tip out of it with that mustard thing. Red, I'm a huge fan. Can you sign this for me, please? Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen this. It was so inspiring to see you come out of nowhere and make that run to the finals. And that last match against Rhea Ripley was amazing. <laughs> Thanks for supporting me for so many years. It really means a lot. Sorry, everyone. We're running late. <laughs> Red, commencing trip to your destination. WWE Hall of Fame ceremony. Please enjoy for the For someone ride. who's in such a big hurry, you had plenty of time to stop and sign an autograph. She had a May Young Classic program from the year I was in it. I had to reward her loyalty. And we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that match versus Rhea Ripley. Coming up next is the tournament final of the 2019 May Young Classic. What started months ago with 32 women from around the world now comes down to two. Let's take a closer look at the distinct paths Red and her opponent Rhea Ripley took to get here tonight. This is my third May Young Classic tournament. The first year, I was just happy to be here. Last year, I made it all the way to the semi-finals. But this year will be different. This year, I win it all. There is no other possible outcome. You know, I almost feel sorry for Red. <laughs> almost. Because tonight, I'm going to annihilate her. Nothing personal, mate. Just more of a wrong place, wrong time sort of thing. A lot of people think I came out of nowhere to make a miracle run to the May Young Classic Finals. I hate to ruin a feel-good story, but I'm not the underdog. I've put in the work and paid my dues traveling up and down the road, defeating anyone who stood in my path. This list drives everything I do. Two years ago, when I was passed up for the first May Young Classic, I wrote on here that I would someday win it. Well, someday is tonight. Rhea Ripley, you can talk about how it's your turn to win, but I've got some unfortunate news for you. I'm taking your turn and there's nothing you can do about it. No matter what happens, you've made it further than anyone expected, and you should be really proud of that. I couldn't agree more. Oh, and it's probably not the best time to bring this up, but I found out Rhea Ripley had a custom jacket made that says 2019 May Young Classic winner. Seriously? Yeah. Pretty disrespectful if you ask me, since clearly she sees beating you as a formality. I mean, she must have been really sure of herself to spend money on that. It's not like you can return a custom jacket. And you should see the detail on it, even had a picture of your face with a black eye. The resemblance was amazing. I'm gonna tear Rhea apart and make my own custom jacket out of her skin! Oh. I can't believe Rhea did that. Not a smart move on her part. Oh, she didn't. I just made that all up to motivate Red. Sometimes her anger can be used for good. This is by far the biggest match of Red's young career. There's so much more than that trophy on the line. Well, she looks determined to say the least. But she could be the most determined person in the world, but that won't make up for the fact she's never been on a stage like this before. Well, this is the third May Young Classic tournament appearance for her opponent, Rhea Ripley. That discrepancy in experience is gonna be a huge factor tonight.
There she is, the soon-to-be winner of the May Young Classic Tournament. Corey, earlier you mentioned how you thought Rhea Ripley had the experience edge since this is her third May Young Classic, but isn't it true that, just like Red, this is her first time making it to the finals? So maybe that edge isn't as significant as you think it is. You might have a point there, Byron. I'm going to tell Rhea you said that. Oh, please don't. After months of competition, these two women who outlasted 30 others now have the opportunity to be crowned the May Young Classic winner. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is Rhea Ripley's year. She will not be denied a third time. I get that, but Red has racked up some impressive victories on the indie scene and in this tournament. This is going to be a battle. Oh, gets out of dodge there. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Oh, She's got no, a long way to go early. before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. It's impressive and honestly a little frightening just how intimidated Rhea Ripley is at such a young age. She is such a chip on her shoulder. I agree, but I would never say that to her face though, Michael. Saxton changes her fortune there. Super kick. Ooh, nasty impact. Ah, oh, this is a way to incapacitate every inch of your opponent slowly, methodically, and painfully. Stomp after stomp after stomp. Oh, brutal. It's starting to come together in a big way. She's taking command of the situation. One. I don't know if I'd exactly agree with you guys about Ripley having a chip on her Two. shoulder. I don't think she cares about anything other than inflicting pain on her opponents. Yeah, winning's Three. a plus when it comes to inflicting that pain, but she definitely isn't consumed by that. Holy cow, what outrageous athleticism. Up Hurricane Rana. Uh oh. Beautiful suplex. Looking stunned. Looking rocked. One, two. Boom. Three. Well, that'll hinder your modeling career. Check out WWE.com for all the pro... She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. To the outside, which will start the referee's count. One. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages and in over 110 countries. That is a great reversal. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Bang! Got her! The close of this match is just ahead. It'll be a minor miracle if she turns it around. Up and down! What a slam! Oh my gosh! What an uppercut! 
We got a cover. One, two. Ah, oh, just oh, inches, no. millimeters from a three count. This could be it. Cover for the win. One, two, three. Oh, and this was just so close to being over. Great reflexes. Producing a trampling. Elbow drop. Escapes in a nick of time. Oh, good night. Sorry. Uh-oh. And a suplex. One. We just breaking down the opponent. Oh my gosh! What an uppercut! No being ended here! One, two, three! She did it! Red has won the May Young Classic! Honestly, I'm shocked. I didn't think she had a chance against Rhea. Respect to Red. And we've heard about this dream list of accomplishments she had. Well, this is certainly going to be a very big one to cross off. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the 2019 presentation of the Mae Young Classic Trophy, named after a trailblazer and legend in our business. And who knows, maybe this is the start of another legendary career. Not to get ahead of ourselves or take away from this moment, but you do have to wonder what's next for Red. Oh, we'll have to wait and see, but clearly she's put herself on the map with the decision makers here in WWE. My emotions getting the best of Rhea Ripley. This is not how she envisioned this night ending. Nonetheless, congratulations again to Red. <laughs> ah, I knew you could do it. Thanks. This is heavier than it looks like on TV. I'll take it. You need a free hand anyway. <sighs> Win May Young Classic Tournament. Done. That trophy was supposed to go home with me tonight. Yeah? Well, maybe next time don't assume you're going to beat me. I heard about your custom jacket. What are you talking about? Ah, uh, no need to get into that right now. Whatever. We'll finish this some other time. Congrats again. You were really impressive out there tonight. Thank you so much for the opportunity. So, if I can ask, what's next? We have your info. Maybe we'll contact you for a tryout match sometime. I I, I appreciate that, but I just won the May Young Classic. Haven't you seen enough? We don't want to rush into anything. Hunter, come on. He's messing with you. Sorry for trying to have some fun around here. Look, the truth is we've seen more than enough, and we think you're amazing. And that's why we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Wow. I'm speechless. Thank you. This is everything I have ever worked for and dreamed of. You've certainly earned it. Um, I just have one request. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can make it happen. I'd like you to sign my friend Trey. <laughs> Good one. I guess I deserve that after I messed with you. I'm not joking. What? You need to think very carefully about what you're asking. I already have. You really don't have to do I this. I know I don't have to, but I want to. We're a package deal, remember? So if you really want to sign me, then you're signing him too. And if that doesn't work on your end, then I walk. No hard feelings. I certainly wasn't expecting that kind of ask, but I respect your loyalty. That goes a long way in this business. But that being said, your friend here wasn't really part of our plans, but if you want to vouch for him, then you have a deal. Both of you. Congratulations. <gasps> Are you freaking serious? What was that? You just risked everything for me. Aren't you happy? I am, but 
but you stood up to the COO of WWE like you were some kind of big shot. That was insane. I'll admit it was a bit of a Hail Mary, but it worked, didn't it? <laughs> we're best friends. I wasn't going to do this without you. That's the deal we made. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, and that includes getting adopted. I promise you won't regret it. It was the right thing to do. Now just show them why you belong here. I will. Hey, I just realized we can cross off another list item. Well, sort of. Compete on NXT. <laughs> oh, yeah. We wrote that back when NXT was a reality show. Eh, it's close enough. 